Hey friends, welcome back to this channel. Have you ever wondered why most of the farms are having chicken houses which are empty and they are not even expecting birds in the near future? It's because those people have failed on poultry farming and they have left uh, the project. So in today's topic, we are going to discuss three major reasons why these people have left poultry farming. Uh, please make sure that you watch this video up to the end because I'm sure if you're planning on beginning poultry farming and you get to know why people fail, you're going to make sure that you play around those issues, you will be able to succeed in poultry farming. Actually, because of too many people living poultry farming, there is a lot of scarcity of eggs and scarcity of off layers. So this is the right time for anyone out there who is uh, planning on beginning poultry farming this is the right time for you to begin and make lots of money actually in my country right now a crate of eggs is at around 15,000 and shillings so you can imagine but before we continue i'm called lillian and i'm from kevara farm so let me take this opportunity to thank all of you who have been uh, coming here to watch my videos those of you who always share those of you who always comment i'm really so grateful and even those of you who have subscribed please thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to this channel be sure that you're going to get all the information about poultry farming according to my experiences because here i share the knowledge and experiences which i've gained so please consider subscribing and be sure that you are in the right place. Uh, the number one reason why most farms are failing it is because of management. Uh, so when I talk about management, it begins with the workers. These workers have done a great job in failing uh, the farmers. What they care about is, are they getting paid? Are they paid in time? Are they get, getting the food? That is all that they care about. Uh, first of all, these small, small things, for example, for layers, and most especially if you're doing deep litter, uh, in the chicken houses, the feeds are supposed to be put in time. Then there is always supposed to be water and clean water. So you come at the farm in the chicken house and then you find when this, uh, when the water that is in chicken house is dirty. And that is if they've helped you and it is there because most times you're going to find uh, drinkers which are empty, which are not having water. And then in most cases, if you're not around, you're going to find that they are putting feeds late. They are not putting it in time. For example, in layers, if you're supposed to be waking up in the morning at five and put your feeds, you're supposed to be consistent and every day you're supposed to be waking up at that time. So you're going to find that these workers are not consistent. Uh, sometimes they put it uh, early in the morning and sometimes they do not put early the time which they are expected to put. So trust me. That day where you change, you will be stressing your birds and that day you will miss out around three crates of eggs. So these workers have really done so much in failing. They are not consistent. They are not what? And then another thing which these workers do, these workers steal a lot from us. For example, me here at my farm, I've, been, I've chased so many workers because of stealing the eggs. I, and then recently when I offlaid my birds, I realized that even the person that I had put as my manager has been selling my birds. So I found, that, I found out that he sold around 60 birds. So you can just imagine when a worker reaches an extent of selling the birds, that is so worse because remember, when they sell the birds, the birds will uh, go with their eggs. So you're not going to be getting the eggs. So you can really see that if you're not there at the farm, what can happen? So in order to beat this problem, please make sure that you find time and be at your farm. Don't just put the farm somewhere and then you let it in the arms of the workers. So you can imagine 
me it's like i'm always here at the farm because this farm is a neighbor to my home so i'm always there at the farm so the few hours that i live they use those those hours to steal from me so just imagine for you if you spend the whole day not reaching the farm they will steal from even if someone takes uh, like half a tray every day that is lots of money because by the time the month ends you will have lost around 15 crates of eggs and that is so much money to lose monthly so please make sure that even if uh you don't have time because i'm sure some people put farms and they are having other works to do but please make sure that you find the time and be at the farm you can even decide to always move to the farm in the evening and then please put cameras you can put cameras in that even if you're not there at the farm you're seeing whatever that is happening at your farm and the second thing which has made uh, most farms fail is the feed, the quality of feeds. Uh, when we talk about, when I talk about feeds, it's here the people who fail us are the suppliers of the feeds. Because most of these suppliers try to manipulate the feeds in order to make abnormal profits. Let me give you an example. The brand that they already sell to us, it's they always mix it with other things and then when you bring it to your farm and you give to your birds, the birds are going to cut in production and then they, you, you will start looking for why your birds are not giving you eggs and then you will not find the solution. Even this concentrate, there are some people who get those bags of concentrate, they open and then they mix in other things, they again seal. So for you, you just come innocently and you buy the concentrate knowing knowing that it is genuine and then when you reach at your farm you find problems with your birds i'm telling you if you tamper with the feeds your birds are not going to give you ex eggs especially if they are introduced to something that they have, they have not been used to they will not give you eggs they will cut and then you start running around trying to find out why your birds are not giving you eggs and then another thing most especially during uh, rainy seasons these people sell to us maize which is not dried the moment you give your birds maize which is not dried those birds are going to cut in production this one has ever happened to me and if you're a farm and you're watching i'm very sure you know that during rainy seasons these birds always cut reduce on the production one of the reasons is because that most of the maize on the market is not dried because always in the rainy season uh, there is a lot of maize in the on the market and then because there is no sunshine to dry that maize they they just bring and sell to us so if you buy uh, the maize which is not dry you're going to find problems then another thing about feeds uh, which is leading most farms uh, to to run away from poultry farming it's the increase of prices of feeds this reason has caused most farmers to run away long ago the prices of maize were, were not so high as now because uh, those people who were farming long ago tell me that the prices have doubled so you can imagine if the prices double, meaning that they are going to affect your profits. So how you can how you can go about this problem? Please look for land. If you do not have land, you can move to the villages where there is a lot of land. You can hire all these and then you plant your own maize. I'm telling you, if you plant your own maize, you're going to make a huge difference. And if you cannot plant the maize, please secure some money and uh, during the seasons of maize, make sure that, uh, that you store the maize, you stock the maize. But if you decide to stock the maize, you have to be so careful. You have to learn how to store this maize so properly because you may bring the maize and you just put it in your store without taking measures to stop these bean weevils and these other things which spoil the maize and then by the time you remove it to use it the maize has gone bad 
and I'm telling you these birds, these exotic birds are not going to eat that maize. You have to know that. So you have to make sure that you master how to store the maize and store it very well for the time that you want. And then I'm telling you, if the prices go high and you use your maize which you stock, you're going to make you're going to see a difference. You're going to make huge profits. Because even that one has ever happened to me. I didn't know how to stock maize. I just brought the maize and placed in a store without taking any measures. And when I removed it, I had lost almost half of those tons that I had stocked was false. Even this maize that remained, I gave it to my birds. The birds refused to eat it. You would find all the feeders full of the maize which you put in the morning. So please make sure that you learn these things in order not to make losses. Then another factor which is causing most people to run away from poultry farming, the breed of the birds that you bring at the farm and the hatcheries where you get these birds from. First of all, the breed. There are some breeds which perform well and there are these other breeds of birds which do not perform so well. What I know, the Isa Brown and then the Roman Brown birds, they perform so well and they are already so resistant to diseases. So please, before you think about beginning poultry farming, make sure that you learn about these breeds and get a breed which performs well, which is going to perform for you, which is not going to disturb you. And then the hatcheries. Some of these hatchery standards are not so high, and even hatcheries have done so much in making people fail. For example, these day old birds are supposed to receive marek on their day one, and marek is only given to day old chicks. So you find that most of the hatcheries are not going to give this vaccine to the birds. So if you're unlucky, you come and take these birds. You're going to reach at the farm and then after some time, you see your birds dying. And most farmers, when their birds start dying, they are going to be demotivated and it may be so hard for someone to again go back and buy another bird because they will know that the birds die. So you will find that someone who has lost birds in the first place can never go back and then is going to just abandon the project. That one has... When I was trying to begin, people would, would tell me that the birds can die, that the birds die. You never know. It could be the problem resulting from the hatcheries. Then another thing, the parents talk of these people who give us the birds. If those birds are sick, if the parent stock is sick, then they are not supposed to hatch those eggs to give to us. But then those hatcheries do not want to make a loss. You find that they go on and hatch those eggs which are having problems and once you come and buy those birds trust me you're going to find problems of diseases at your farm because the the diseases will be carried from their parents to the chicks which are going to come from those eggs so you're going to find lots of problems and then you spend all lots of money trying to treat these diseases so please before you buy your chicks try to make sure that you find hatcheries which have high standards which follow standards actually that's why most people have resorted to importing birds uh, for example me that's why i import birds i always import birds from turkey and another netherlands because um in my heart i'm sure that those people always mind a lot about their standards so that's why I resort to importing birds and actually I've not found most of the problems with my birds so far. So if you cannot trust a hatchery, please research and make sure you find a hatchery which you can trust. You will not find problems. Major three reasons which are causing people to leave poultry farming. There are other uh, reasons like, uh, for example, diseases, but always those ones can be taken care of. Like diseases, if you follow the, your biosecurity well, and then you 
you always vaccinate according to the vaccination schedules, you will be able to beat all these other problems. So with that information, I hope I've helped someone. Please, you can even go back and rewatch this video and try to take all those things that we are talking about into consideration. You will be able to succeed in poultry farming. Bye-bye. Till the next video. Tell the truth or live a lie Be a burden or a prize Stick around or say